What's up guys? We're back for more racing and shit. So, um, last week I didn't have any videos. I came to Lubbock. As soon as I got my hotel room, they canceled the event the next morning due to weather. And uh, sure, sure as shit, on the way up here this morning, I left town at like four in the morning. Come up here and it's storming. Goddamn radar. Anyway, so the whole track's wet. They got this real nice setup though. Um, yeah, I'm excited. It's gonna be a real good day. And then tonight we're gonna go hit the eighth mile and uh there we go we go hit the eighth mile tonight um here in town well i'm here might as well since the track's open so um yeah the only <laughs> i can't say small it's a big thing so it turns out over the course of like a couple months like i'd be driving on the highway you know with cruise control on and then cruise control would just shut itself off and i get the little orange cruise control light a lot of you guys probably know what i'm talking about uh, along with that, I get a random, like, my tire pressure monitor system light comes on, and it won't let me clear it. It won't let me clear it in the ECU, it won't let me set my tire pressure in the, the infotainment, and it'll just randomly go away, come back. Anyway, apparently those correlate to my right front ABS sensor not being able to read um, the sensor strip that's on the inside of the uh, wheel bearing hub. Anyway... So I go, I get all these faults yesterday. I have no power steering, no ABS, no cruise control, no airbags, just about every light on the dash except for the check engine light. Um, so I was like, what the hell? One of the codes in OBD-11 was my right front ABS sensor malfunctioning. So I was like, shit, put off the wheel, pull out the sensor. I get in there and look and there's bits of like what seemed to be rubber. Well, apparently that's the, uh, whatever the sensor reads, it ate itself up because my hub or axle bolt came loose and it was able to have a little bit of play and it destroyed that ring so right now i don't even have i can't like traction's completely off no abs no power steering nothing i just drove 120 miles like that and i'm gonna race on it at autocross and uh do drag racing night and then drive back i ordered the parts from fpc euro um they actually have a kit that comes with axle bolts the hub and the, the bolts that bolt the hub to the, the knuckle, I guess. So I ordered two of them and do both fronts just for good measure. But uh, right now I don't have anything. I have no steering assist. I have nothing. So today is going to be fun. It's wet. No traction control. No power steering. Uh, the power steering really isn't that big of a deal. It's just a little, well, actually a little bit heavier than what it is in the race setting. So uh, I have like variable power steering for no one that knows I have like medium soft and hard basically but um, it should make for a fun day because uh, even with traction control fully off you still have some of the nannies in the computer that prevent you from all that shit so it's gonna be interesting to see how the car reacts and on pretty much my tires are pretty much dead too like they're pretty much bald after this week I need to try and get tires this week um, they got a drag race and another all across event next weekend so um, yeah, it'll be interesting. Let's see how this Focus RS does. There's a couple of them here. Anyway, the rain stopped. The skies are now absolutely beautiful this morning. Got a nice shade of purple and blue up there. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. People are rolling in left and right. It's going to be a lot of people here. So, this is the last event of the year for Lubbock with the Porsche Club. So, uh, I'd imagine there's going to be quite a bit more people showing up. They're actually doing autocross tomorrow morning again, running this course backwards, but um, I work night shift. So for me to get up early again and come out here and then have to work at midnight, not going to work out. So I'm going home tonight after racing, but um, this is the track map. It is super long. Um, we're using like two different sections of the course. Usually this first section here is where we park. Um, as far as I know, I've only ever been to one event out here, but it's going to be a long one. They definitely put out a good course for their uh, final map of the year. It's going to be very interesting. There's my buddy in his Subaru. What up, man? It's going to be a very interesting day. I'm excited. Even though my tires are super bald. Hopefully, I'm not in the first run group, so some of this water can get cleared off the track. 
Um, it's supposed to be in the 80s today and not raining anymore, so fingers crossed it dries up quick. Otherwise, it's going to be a very interesting day with no traction control at all. <laughs> So those clips I just showed you, that was just the beginning part of the course. The the second half, it's not even half, but the, the second portion is way longer. Like my zoom wouldn't even be able to show. It'd be like a speck on the screen. It goes way down there. It like the beginning of it's real nice and tight and the end of it, the, the, the second half here is just, it's super open. It's really, really nice. But we're doing three laps, three laps, four laps. So the last four are what's timed and uh, I'm third in line for my class. There's there's quite a few people, so I should have sufficient time in between laps for uh, oil temp and tires to not cook themselves. But it, it's it's a decent day right now. It's 10:30 in the morning, 68 degrees, kind of humid, but it feels nice. It feels real good. I'm definitely confident about today. Doing those uh, parade laps with no ABS and power steering and traction control was a little weird. But now pretty much all the wet's gone. The one corner I broke a little too hard because it was it was wet and my tires locked up. It was the first time I've ever had that happen. A little weird to deal with. Uh, without having ABS, your tires will literally just stop and you'll skid rather than ABS doing its thing and letting the tires like kind of move. So, but I like it. I think I could get used to this. I might just start pulling fuses or something depending on how this day goes. But uh, yeah, like I said, I don't have anyone to record for me at all. Like maybe. One of these random people I can make friends with, like, hey, you mind recording a lap? But even trying to get that second half is not gonna happen. So I'll get different positions with the GoPro throughout the day and we'll go from there. Y'all see that? There's a little smoke coming off my rotors here. That is crazy.
This is probably the most intense course I've ever participated in. Um, the beginning part is easy. The second part, I mean, it's all, the map itself is easy. Like, it's not a hard course at all, but like the car, uh, the tires are getting hot fast. I, had, I did a cold at 32 pounds of pressure in all four corners. After the first lap, they were almost 40. And the dude, like, when I'm getting back in line, I don't even have time to stop. He's just like waving us through. We get a rolling start through the start line. And he's just like waving me to like go. I'm like, no, I need to stop, check my pressure. He's like, you need to hurry up. Like, I'm not gonna be able to drive like safely if my tires have that much pressure. So the first lap, I did the front, second lap, I was able to check the backs real quick. And then after the third lap, I checked all four and they were already almost all back up to 40 pounds. And as you've seen, my brake rotor was smoking. I thought it was gonna catch fire. Like as I'm rolling up, I'm like, I smell the brakes, I see smoke. Like I hope it is an oil and it's brakes. And then I hopped out and my, that rotor was just, I mean, it was smoking a lot worse before I put the camera on it. It's kind of crazy. Definitely need a brake upgrade. I'm still waiting on the guy to get back to me to sell me the brakes that I'm getting. He's a very busy individual apparently, so. It's a little upsetting. I wanted those brakes on for this event, honestly, but what can you do? Um, so now I just set them all to 30 pounds. I might just drop them down to like 28. Um, hopefully that'll help. But the, my last run, I couldn't even, like three of the corners, I couldn't even go through. My tires had too much pressure and they were just, just sliding across. And then I locked my brakes up once. Um, not having ABS is definitely something you gotta use. You kinda gotta like feather the brake pedal a lot so that the tires, and as soon as the tires lock up, it's it's fucking weird. It's really weird. It's a learning experience. Hopefully, uh, maybe I don't want to take ABS off because that was really fucking weird when they locked up like that at that speed. It was like 40 miles an hour and locked up the tires. It was very, very odd. did my second set of laps you guys got at least one of the clips from the GoPro here on the side I don't have time between laps to switch the GoPro around and stuff so the next set of laps are um, the timed ones I'm gonna try and get a GoPro here up on the windshield and I'll get one in here uh, one way or another but I didn't get a clean run that whole time uh, the first one I had a solemn cone because I was I went in way too fast and the second one I had to skip a a cone because the tires just were sliding terribly um, then the third one it was the same thing you know, these tires are pretty much bald and I gotta it's hard for me to remember that they're not gonna grip when I tell them to grip <laughs> so kind of messed that one up I'm going like I'm hitting the rev limiter in third gear in multiple spots like that's up there that's 
And I looked down once, it was like 85 miles an hour. I was like, holy shit. Like, and with no ABS and stuff going 85 miles an hour towards a cone, if I don't think I'm gonna make it, I'm just gonna avoid it. Cause that's just too much. I don't wanna wind up going sideways across the track into the field or something. It is intense. This shit is very intense today. Um, I wish I had someone to record me down there to see it from the outside. You guys would be like, holy shit. Like I am flying through this course, which I, I need to calm down because obviously it's not benefited me any if I'm missing cones and stuff, but it's definitely a rush. I'm sweating. I'm like stumbling on my words because it's making me all nervous, but it's a good ass time. And just for reference here, guys, you can see there ain't much. You guys hear where I locked them up real good. See, these tires are pretty, pretty freaking beat. There's a little bit here on the outside, but then just, yeah, they're, they're beat, beat, beat. You guys got to see the final lap there where I missed a bunch of gates and stuff. My tires were not having it, not having ABS made it uh, a lot more tricky than I had ever imagined. I don't ever want to race again without ABS. I forget what I said in the beginning of the video. Uh, those parade laps were cool, but uh, after really getting on the car and having, I mean, I, I would barely get like halfway on the brakes and they would start to lock up. And I think that's partially due to my tires not having so much grip. They were easily just it would be grabbed and, and locked up, but I'm gonna try and get tires here before next weekend. There's some dude out near Dallas selling three sets of RE71Rs uh, for a decent price. So I think he has a set that only have like a couple track days on them for $350. And if I could grab those, not that I should daily on them, but I'm only gonna be in the United States for like another month and a half or something, not even. So um, I think that they would last me. I got like three autocross events and a drag race event and then just daily driving i don't i'm not going to be driving anymore far really uh between now and then so i'm gonna try and pick those up throw those on the car they're the same size they're uh 245 45 17s and i've been wanting to compare the uh federal rsrrs to the re71 r's for a while now like the re71 r's are like the top autocross tire right now really in terms of uh being dot rated and streetable 200 tread wear tires uh, next season. What I plan, I didn't even realize for my class in autocross being an SM, I can legitimately run slicks. So, so there's Hoosier and 
I think Hankook and another, uh, was it Toyo, they all make like an autocross slick. So my plan was already to get another set of the same wheels I have, the Koenig uh, Hypergrams, get them coated black, and then um, I'll just buy a set of slicks for those for next season, and then get the ones that are on the car right now painted black, and then just get a nice set of uh, streetable tires that I could drag race on and daily on, and then just switch tires out for autocross. So we'll see how that pans out in the future, but uh, on yesterday, this is the next day, I did make, my goal was to get a minute and 10 seconds. My best clean run was 112, and my best dirty run with a cone was 108. So I was right in the range of where I wanted to be, but really overall, I mean, it was a fun day. It was good seat time, seeing what it was like without power steering or ABS or any of the traction control nannies. Um, definitely an experience, but it wasn't my best driving at all, but it was fun. I, I'm not going to complain, um, but the parts that I need to fix all that will be here on Wednesday from FCP, so we, we'll, you guys will get in a video here soon of how to replace your, uh, your wheel bearings, so that'll be cool, and then tomorrow I got 034 front and rear end links coming in, it's their street density version, right now I have their spherical end links in the rear, and they are freaking loud as hell, they sound like metal popcorn on shitty roads, pop, 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 pop coming from the back. It's kind of annoying when I have people in the car and they're driving on the city roads, they give me this look like, is your car about to fall apart? Like, what the hell? Um, so I'll be switching out the rears and then I'll have, uh, by the end of the week, I'll have a Turbo Smart blow off valve, the plumb back, half and half. Uh, I saw the APR um, insert for the dog bone and then I'll have the rear end links from 034. I'm selling all those or giving them away. Um, so if you want either of those three, let me know. Um, but yeah, so I have the fronts and the rears that have rubber and not just metal on metal. Uh, I know my front needs it, like for sure, because I have like preload on the sway bar, so it should help things a little bit, I'd imagine. And then also this week, I'm going to um, increase the camber in the front, probably max, max out the camber in the front and uh, get a realignment. Cause as you increase camber, toe gets messed up. So Thursday we have an appointment for freaking an alignment. So a lot of things going on this week. I got something to do every day this week on the car. Get all these codes gone, new end links, alignment. Hopefully get some tires in by the end of the week. And we have a drag race event Saturday night. It's a flashlight shootout in Amarillo. And then autocross Sunday morning in Amarillo. So a lot of shit going on. A lot of videos to make. Uh, make up for not having any videos last week, and this video is now probably long as shit, and if you made it this far, I appreciate you, thank you very much for watching, and uh, we'll see you on, I don't know, Wednesday, Thursday, with a video of some sort, but uh, yeah, make sure you drop a thumbs up, and I'll catch you on the flip-flop.